right, coming up next is highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Well, you just never know when the next UFC superstar is going to emerge. I submit to you, the UFC's interim middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, only made his UFC debut in February of 2018. And it's an understatement to say he has taken this sport next. It's an understatement, a massive understatement. For a long time, I had heard about Israel Adesanya before he even got to the UFC, but did not know what to expect. I did not expect such a versatile skill set, an ability to stay upright, yeah. an ability to deal with the pressure of wrestlers, an ability to stay the course whenever things aren't going necessarily as you planned. He was just wise beyond his time in the octagon from the moment he got there. And I think that's because he chose the exact right time yes. to come to the UFC. Right, he didn't force it. He has become a sensation overnight, and most people believe when it comes to Israel Adesanya, the best is yet to come. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC, and if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of Six wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Alex Poitier. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? Ready? as this fight gets underway. And it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. 
right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Great punch landed with so much power. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, collar tie. trying to shut the liver down. And that he comes knee, through with a big hit. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. <laughs> big shots being landed on both sides here. Big punch land. Too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up in that kick, but somehow it manages to land it with so much force. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sight. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar side. Together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Israel Adesanya has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Single collar tie now. Final minute of round one. Big ball for land. Now we get back to range. Both fighters throwing heat now. He missed with that jab attempted. some obvious signs of swelling. Nice straight punch. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust 
and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Nice leg kick land. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And both guys really throwing with authority. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, these are some impactful knees he's throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's gonna keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. Can't take many of those, you better check. with that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Adesanya's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. And they separate. that takedown attempt without issue. Went for the inside leg kick. Trying to double up on that jab. Unable to connect with the right. That shot is blocked by Adesanya. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make it pay for it. Man, look at Adesanya putting his words into action. I don't throw and hope. I aim and fire. The accuracy is just on a completely different level, and not surprising that he has drawn comparisons to the consensus greatest middleweight champion in UFC history, the great Anderson the Spider Silva. Starting to do man. What is fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment? He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Adesanya gets the tie clinch here. You can't hurt him a little bit. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got him over her very bad. Tonight, he has inflicted a ton of damage to his opponent and a lot of it courtesy of those knees. Whoa! What a fight so 
move off. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him today. That was... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just misses with a left hook there. Real quick leg kick. Beautiful body. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Adesanya's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, that's a good right hand. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Adesanya getting pounded by those hammer fists. We might get a stoppage here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, single collar tie now. Israel Adesanya's kick attempt there blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, big oh, knee there. Oh, straight right. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, 
his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big punch lands over. Wow! I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Seconds winding down in round three. What a round. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it got, got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the store. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Israel Adesanya gets touched by that kick. There, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. That's a big strike right there. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Big body kick. with the punch. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now the guy's got on bar, he's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack on bar here. Get a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the tap. So he submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately force the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. 
All right, so there's the man they're all chasing at 185 pounds, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, and the celebration is on after the big submission win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Hawthorne. And still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion and with style points tonight. How about the best 185 pounder in the world submitting the number one contender here tonight? And I'm not sure I've seen him celebrate a win quite to the extent to which he is right now, embracing his coaches. They might even bring the family in here at one point in time. This is a huge win for the man who entered as the undisputed best and leaves that way too.